So we're here because we love science. We love the process of discovery. We think the world is a fascinating place. The human body is amazing. We'd like to know how all of this works. You are born with a set of genes. That's your blueprint. The blueprint tells us how our body is going to be built. But the genes alone don't know how to express themselves. So epigenetics is a set of instructions that are encoded elsewhere, outside of the genes. Humans and chimpanzees share 99% of our protein coding genes, but we don't look like chimpanzees. We don't behave like chimpanzees. And that is because of all the stuff in between the genes, the junk DNA. The junk DNA is what separates us from chimpanzees, from lions. We now know that protein coding sequences account for only about 1% of our genome, one percent, one lousy percent of the genome. All the stuff that's in between was termed junk DNA because they're not making proteins. Now fast forward 10 years after the Human Genome Project and we come to the realization that 90 percent of the junk is made into a non-coding RNA. Why should our cells waste all this energy making long non-coding RNA if they're not doing something. I started to think that maybe junk isn't junk. Our work on exon activation has helped to elucidate how these long non-coding RNAs work. If you wanted something to happen only at the exon activation center or on the X chromosome, but nowhere else in the genome, you need a long non-coding RNA. The junk DNA and the RNAs which are created from junk DNA are what can, in some unfortunate cases, cause disease. We and others now are trying to determine ways in which we can leverage long non-coding RNAs to hit back at those disease genes. The beauty of this is that not only do we you know, have the opportunity to help treat patients who badly need a therapeutic. We also have the opportunity here to learn something about the biology of exon activation. This is the best job in the world. I can't imagine doing anything else. It's an interesting marker. I'm looking at markers. Yeah. We have the opportunity to discover, to train, and then to make a, a real difference in the lives of, of people.